so when it comes to 3d printing no people have different connotations some people say i use liquid uh, uh, 3d printer uses liquid material some people say i use powder some people say no no there is some wire comes it's a filament i use filament so for different people 3d printing is different is it but are they all called as 3d printing of course so they are all called as 3d printing because you have different varieties of 3d printing you know they are not just one 3d printing term ek hai magar uska different different uh, uh, varieties are there so some we call sla some we call sls some we call fdm a certain other we call uh, uh, loam and binder jetting material jetting then there is one more addition called as uh, directed uh, metal uh, directed energy deposition you know all this you know the uh, these things can only increase you know but all this group are called as 3d printing so that brings us to the definition of 3d printing how do we define 3d printing then 3d printing refers to a set of technologies so it's not one set of technologies which will help to fabricate 3d object layer upon layer so that is very important by a digital input data that is also very important you know layer upon layer and digital input data so what is the digital input data it is the model what you create on computer correct no of course we can also use medical image data we can scan an object take the point cloud data and try to re- recreate the model again you can use that correct no so 3d model is important without which you cannot produce anything which is uh, it can be 3d printable so 3d printed uh, uh, object comes from the cad the cad is then sliced using a software and this slice is given to a machine that machine we can call it as a robot a 3d printer uh, we can call it as a cnc also uh, we can call it as C- cam also we can call it as a robot also all are okay you know and we can call it a digital fabricator also you know so what it does the model is done the electronic model is sliced okay and you have only one slice data the slice is put back you know there is nothing great about it they are put back in a sequence and you get a physical object correct no and let us see uh, who are the pioneers of this technology dr kodama was uh, the uh, the uh, first inventor who could not actually get the patent it was chakhal who came out with uh, stereo lithography you know american uh, engineer he got patent for that so that was the first one 86 89 we have called decoid who worked on powder based uh, 3d printing and steven scott cram he was then filament based he worked on filament based uh, so we have uh, today many varieties of things coming so this is chakal which is uh, humble first uh, 3d printer what he printed first you know uh, rest is a history today we have all this you know so this is the first one the vat photo polymerization or stereo lithography what is stereo lithography stereo means depth stereo phone you know uh stereo vision like the stereo means depth lithography means printing so 3d printing is uh, in a way hidden in the uh, name itself a stands for apparatus there and you can see what happens here the laser light comes you can see an animation the laser ca- light comes from the top and instantaneously this photo uh, polymer you know liquid resin gets uh, polymerized that means it becomes solid and you get a part okay that is the animation what you can see laser from the optics it comes through reflected through the mirror on to the uh, tank which has got this uh, photosensitive liquid and it is ejected you can see how these parts are built in a 3d printer they are all coming emerging out like this and then came the powder based technology uh, called selective laser sintering 
so let us see an animation how it is done here like a chapati roller a stage uh, they spread the powder laser comes co2 laser comes which is a very hot laser and it kind of uh, fuse of the powder a powder sub in a melt hoka they will become not exactly melting but in between two uh, particle there is a weld like a toka weld let us see a zoom uh, thing you can see how it when it moves uh, the two particles get kind of fused so essentially this process uh, makes it porous so isme ek uh, object bana ke pani dalo to pani uh, within a matter of uh, one day it will all go out that is because you can see the interstitial space is uh, still open right it is not uh, solid in that respect it is a porous okay moving forward this is the uh, consolidation that is happening on the uh, uh, nylon powder uh, you can see some phantom is drawing some circle you know that is the laser which is drawing it you cannot make out the laser but you can see the effect of it right this is uh, sla sls uh, process and you can see how the cake is removed ejected out of the platform and we'll remove all the powder excess powder to actually get the part out okay